So let me get some cans and we'll go and get some gas. I can do not let's go Tarco. Chase car rentals. The dealer for Tarco fuels in Barbados. This one's still ground gas. separate can. Had to change some injectors. They had two stuck injectors from the secondary rail that I don't really use. So basically, I had to change up the whole set of them there. But back in some 1650s, I had two sets of 2200s. But I had to put back in sec secondary 1650s. So it's just two lines to switch from now from my tank to my fuel tank to my fuel cell. So it's one, you pump the spool from this one and go into the, the, the swirl pot and it's returned from the swirl pot into the plastic tank then. So just switch two lines then, pouring gas and start. So this switching up from the bar fitting to the um, dash 8 fitting which is what the line has on the end of it so we're just running two dash 8 fittings then rather than the bar the bar was connected to the flex fuel sensor which was coming out the main tank but since we're not using the main tank anymore we're cutting out and bypassing the flex fuel sensor
Okay, I'll sit up on the last if you're a pot switch. Okay, on. <laughs> you, you feel pumped, not your lift pump. Lane that coming off of the swirl part that was going back to the tank originally is why capping off. Reconnecting now the lane that going into the fuel cell to return the fuel that coming from the rail back into the fuel cell. This way we're able to keep the fuel pure and wouldn't be contaminated from the original pump gas that in the tank already.
Conclusion, fuel control is working. The fuel system still isn't adequate enough even with the controller on to supply the amount of fuel it needs for the gas. Even with the two rails in at 20-24 pounds, the car still need gas up in the up in them um, boost figures. But um, it, it is a lot better compared to before we put the controller. But I do plan to upgrade the fuel pump to a uh, um, a mechanical well uh, electric gear gear driven pump um, there's a magna fuel pro star FI series electric gear pump that I was looking to upgrade to so hopefully before the end of the year I would see if we could get one of those that would solve all my fuel problems so it was just a minor t minor testing to see if the controller would have worked or whatever because the controller was merely bought to go with the pump that I plan to buy in the future just that I get it at a good deal, so I bought it. No, really had the money at hand. So, in all in all, it wasn't a bad testing. Still got work on the second gear. I guess the, the map wasn't fully tuned to what it needed to be, so the car was still a little lazy and bogging through the gears. But you will get it right eventually. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not sure what the next video game be as yet. May, may prolong this engine and this car in the next video. I'm not sure as yet. I got a good couple of things to do in the next couple of days, so we we'll think about it. May, I may put this on the on the to do list this week and see if we can make a video of stripping it. And because it has a a rattle, I'm pretty sure it got a spin bearing or at least a knock bearing or something. So.